We're out here with the Van Wall Group, uh, just north of uh, Tame, Iowa, and today what we did is we put on a, a, a tillage demo with a bunch of different pieces of equipment, and included in that were two 9560Rs, uh, one outfitted with our LSW, and then we also had their brand new uh, uh, 9620, which has this new air ride suspension that is designed to eliminate uh, road lope and power hop. I noticed the difference in the two rides there's a lot more bounce, a lot more slippage, and the fuel consumption was a lot higher in the conventional tire. In the LSW, I noticed the ride, as far as the ride in the seat, was a lot smoother, less side to side um, jerking. I could tell the tire slippage was less, uh, just, and you could tell it just by looking at the tires and watching them visually. Um, those are the, the main points that I could tell the difference. The comment I would use to sum the whole thing up, the difference between conventional and LSWs, you could fall asleep in the LSWs. It just kind of glided over everything. The conventional kept you jarred, kept you awake. Um, at the end of the day, 10 hour day, that, that's probably pretty tough on a body. You know, I thought I'd see a, a difference between the two, the, the conventional with the suspended front axle and the LSW tires. I thought I'd see more difference in the suspended front axle. I've, I saw virtually zero difference. The premier combination of the tractor options would be the suspended front axle and the LSW tires. As far as Utilizing the LSW tires, I think any tractor out there could virtually put those on and it could be utilized as efficiently as they've ever ran before. Coming into today, I didn't realize what LSW was and what to expect. Um, virtually thought it was kind of a snake oil ideal idea. After today, I was a lot more convinced. The road performance, I drove two tr identical tractors out from the store, uh, one with LSW tires, one without, uh, a marked difference, huge. The one with LSWs would go 26 mile an hour down the road and comfortably ride the tractor no problem with the standard 800 tires. Uh, in 1920 mile an hour was maximum speed because it would start bouncing and jumping around. So that, that's a huge variability difference in, in that component. In the field, uh, the way the tire performs, the way it pulls, the traction. Uh, we had a field day in the spring, we compared it to a quad track. Uh, the flotation of this tire compared to the quad track in the looser uh, soils was extremely noticeable. Uh, lots of advantages we could pull with the quad track as far as moving the implement through the field. And we didn't, could not distinguish a, a, a track pattern of the tractor with the LSWs versus where we very much uh, with extreme definition could see the track pattern of where the quad track had run. So uh, our experience with the LSW tires is it's, it's a revolution in the tire industry. Uh, two, three years down the road as we get the, the used uh, replacement program in place, uh, the factory build code availability from Deere and Company to make the, these tires available right on the new machines. Uh, the, the, it's going to be a revolution, not an evolution, with this technology as we go forward here. This is something that once you've experienced it, you're going to simply want it, period.